sports, ball sports, basketball. Today we are going to be talking about the Kardashians of the NBA, the ball family who is now getting their own reality TV show on Facebook. Or to be more specific, LeVar Ball, father of LaMelo Ball, LiAngelo Ball, and to be more specific, father of current NBA player Lonzo Ball. Now, LeVar Ball is comparable to the professor who created the Powderpuff Girls, but instead of three superhero-like girls, he created three freaks of nature that are amazing at basketball. And based off the last name Ball, you'd think that they are destined to play basketball. LeVar himself has some professional experience in sports as he played overseas with London Monarchs and was also part of the practice squad for the Carolina Panthers and the New York Jets. Other than that, his only experience he has in sports is through his son, who is a professional uh, basketball player for the LA Lakers. Furthermore, he has two sons, one of which was heading to UCLA, LiAngelo Ball, and his youngest son, LaMelo Ball, who's currently playing basketball in high school but still making national headlines. Now, the reason I'm in between on LeVar Ball is the fact that he acts more of an agent and marketer rather than a father to his sons, and I love it and hate it. I hate LeVar Ball because he comes off as a total asshole who's too centered around his sons making it big in the NBA and growing his apparel brand, Big Baller Brand. Now, the reason I love him is because he is so goddamn good at what he does when it comes to marketing. He has gotten so far out there with the ball name that it is slowly becoming a household name and is well known throughout the NBA and collegiate sports. Um, he literally does it, it seems, through just being dumb by making radical comments by his antics and everything. We're going to go over some of the comments here, some of which my favorite, in which he says, back in his heyday when he played collegiate basketball for one year at Washington, he averaged only 2.2 points a game, yet he still believed that back in his heyday, he could take on Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, in a one-on-one. -on -one. He also blamed the slow foot speed of Lonzo's white teammates for the failure that they had in their championship run. And furthermore, he also said that not only he could take on Michael Jordan in a one-on-one, -on -one, but that his current son, who is now a rookie in the NBA, Lonzo Ball, could take on Steph Curry in a one-on-one -on -one as well. Now, aside from his stupid comments, his antics and appearances are what I find the funniest and what is practically making himself a meme. He recently appeared on the WWE, in which I'll go and show some right here, but I can't show the full thing because of copyright, but. Well, I'll tell you, the mellow ball. <laughs> like, what, what is he going for there? He looks like an autistic kid running for the ice cream man. I don't understand what he's trying to do. Oh, boy, are you making me so he sounds like he's having a fucking stroke, like an evolving Pokemon, I don't know. I, I don't understand the point of this, he's just being over dramatic. Like, I know the WWE is scripted and it's supposed to be entertaining, but this is just retarded. Wait, is Ambrose the voice of reason? He looks like he's trying to fucking airbend or shoot spider webs. I, I, I don't understand what he's going for and then he's just cracked out or I, I'm not even sure. He also brought his sons on the stage and I'm pretty sure he got a decent payout from it. But the main thing that he's trying to do it seems, is just grow his brand and let his sons glow in the limelight and get them out there. Um, I feel bad kind of for his sons, uh, like LaMelo, the kid who's currently in high school and playing basketball, uh, he recently put up like 90 something points, it was all over Twitter, but people were targeting him because he's a part of the ball family, calling him a ball hog, pulling up highlights of him getting ripped apart, and I just feel kind of bad for the kid. I understand that you're out there and you're trying to be a good basketball player, but it's just getting kind of ruined by his father. Um, I also feel like LiAngelo going into collegiate level and Lonzo going into the NBA level now, the professional level, that they're going to face some type of discrimination to overcome some obstacles because of what their father has said for them. Now, if they are successful, which I feel like they probably will be, I mean, they seem to be very talented. They have the name Ball as their last name, so it seems like they're destined for the NBA or to be some type of great basketball player. If they succeed, then LeVar Ball is going to be one of the greatest marketer agents. He has been able to be so successful with all the dumb shit that he's done. And yes, it is controversial, but the thing is, there is no real thing as bad press. 
I love the fact that his father is able to get away with this. The fact that his father is embarrassing himself and his family is kind of fucked up, but the fact that it is working blows my goddamn mind because he is going out there and making the name known. If you go around and ask anybody who is interested in the NBA currently, I guarantee you they know who Lonzo Ball is and who LeVar Ball is. And on top of that, like I said, he has his own apparel company, which he believes his sons are going to be worth a combined $1 billion and are going to bring in a giant amount of revenue to Big Baller Brand, his apparel company. Now, his apparel company is also launching a shoe um, under Lonzo Ball for about $495, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to buy it just because of the controversy. I think that, again, he is a genius, but he is an asshole. I feel like that as a father, he's overstepping his boundaries and that he's getting too involved, which is honestly a thing because people say that you can never get too involved with your children. You can. But it seems like these kids just kind of get brought down with their father's comments. Lonzo Ball currently, um, not currently, recently had a horrible game for his first NBA debout at uh, debut. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. Um, with the Los Angeles Lakers where he only put up, I think, like 5 or 6 points with 32 minutes playtime. Everybody is literally just tearing him apart for this because his father is trying to say that he is going to be the greatest player ever. Um, he also was defended by his father saying that it was one of his worst games ever, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, who cares? This wouldn't be an issue if his father just did not hype him up so much. And now he has to face all this stuff if he does not perform well. All in all, I think that LeVar Ball is a shitty father, but probably one of the greatest marketers that has ever come through the NBA. And according to the Nike, um, lead marketer, he is the worst thing to come into the NBA in the past hundred years. Um, I hope that Lonzo, uh, Lamelo, and Leangelo all have great success in the NBA and exceeding at the levels that they played in, whether it be high school or college basketball. But only time will tell, and if they succeed, then I'm sure a big baller brand is something that is going to stick around for quite a while, but if they fail, I'm sure it will be a 30 for 30 or something that we all just treat as a meme and laugh at years from now. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Sports, ball sports, basketball.